Hey everyone, uh, it's me again. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with my face, this is Sandra. Um, I wanted to join you today to talk about um, one of the most critical moments of my own healing journey. And that was, you know, I'm often trying to think, but I, I it was quite a number of years ago anyways. But I'll, I'll share the story with you. So for, for many years, I was uh, miserable. I waking up every morning, dreading the day, just anxious to get back into bed so that I could sleep it all away. I would look around at everything that I had and feel like this is it. Like so unfulfilled and so uh, just depressed and apathetic and really just I I didn't have any pleasure any joy in my life and that was I mean a tough thing to experience as I'm sure you could imagine or maybe you experienced something similar yourself but the guilt that I felt with that was probably even harder because the guilt and the shame of how I was feeling um, even though, you know, I would look around and I could see everything that I had in my life. It, um, that is what probably ate me apart the most. But one of the things that I have learned along the years, and it always brings me back to that day, was that the number one, um, I, you know, I always say that, but like the, the thing that changed the course of my life the, the thing that I did that absolutely took me from this path of misery to opening up a door to something else was being honest, was actually speaking about how I felt, even though I felt awful about feeling that way. I felt like I was not deserving of any more. I was not worthy of anything more in my life and I should just be happy and grateful for everything that I did have. And I was grateful, but at the same time, I wasn't happy. So the day that I spoke my truth, the day that I courageously talked about how I was truly feeling was the day that changed my life. Because after I was able to own that truth, I was able to do something about it. If we're not willing to be honest about how we're feeling, then we can't create any change. So with that story in mind, and I've got many other instances in my life where I have been feeling, you know, sucked back into old patterns or starting to feel depressed again, um, just feeling low, feeling irritable, feeling uh, just burnt out. And I catch myself a lot quicker these days. And that's what doing this work allows you to have a, such a keen awareness of when you're slipping. And you can catch yourself and always the first thing is being honest about it, being honest about what is happening in my life, where are the areas of my life that are contributing to this, and then what am I going to do about it? And it's not always, it's almost never a quick fix. Sometimes we can, you know, do some things and it will have an immediate benefit, but most often it's areas of life that have just gotten really bogged down with old expectations, with the old ways, those old patterns and behaviors that we get sucked into because that's the way we were trained, that's the way we were raised, that's the cultures and the society that we live in that holds these huge expectations for us and we get sucked into them, but they are designed to make us fail, for lack of a better word, or to suffer. And to suffer in this, in this stew of unworthiness. So, I invite you all to be honest and I've got some questions here to help you kind of come to uh, come to a truthful place. What is the tr what is your truth? What what are you swallowing back every day? What are you avoiding sharing or talking about? What are you pushing down and stuffing down and hiding from? You know, maybe with food, maybe with alcohol, maybe drugs. Maybe it's busyness. We talked about that before. 
chaos that we get sucked into just so we don't have to sit and deal with what our truth is. And our truth is just all that, that we're, I mean, we're literally sometimes choking on it because we want to speak it. We know our deep down inside of us, we know that if we bring that to the light, that it's going to open up an opportunity to change. But that's terrifying for some of us. The idea of, ch of changing things, we know it's going to be work and we know it's going to be hard. We know it's going to mean some really dark, difficult days, but we owe it to ourselves. We owe it to our families. We owe it to generations coming, you know, up the pipe from us that we do this kind of work, that we step into our truth and we start owning it and we start doing small things to change it. Because over time, I mean, when I look back to that day, how different life is now for me. If I wouldn't have had the courage that day, I mean, maybe I would have years later, I don't know, but if I wouldn't have had the courage that day, I wouldn't be where I am right this moment. So let's be honest together. And so I want you to reflect on some of these questions and just, you might even journal um, and, and write some of your answers down. You can pause the video and, and journal if something really kind of stands out to you. But what truth have you been swallowing down? What truth have you been hiding? What have you been avoiding? What have you been avoiding dealing with? What relationship have you been avoiding, you know, creating change in? What difficult conversation are you avoiding? What change are you avoiding? What truth are you avoiding? Have you been covering up your struggle in order to appear strong? How many of us put on those masks of perfectionism seem so that we can appear to others that we've got it all figured out that we don't need any help here in the middle of this um the martyr mask where we just do everything and we we take on everything and um so how many of you have been covering up this struggle in order to keep up that appearance that you can handle it all how many have you been turning to food or booze or drugs or other behaviors to help you cope but more so to help you hide to help you avoid these are behaviors we we develop in order to keep us from having to sit with the pain of our truth of what's going on inside of us do you use busyness as a way to help you avoid dealing with your pain and emotions have you noticed your emotions being very overwhelmed where maybe you're more irritable, easily frustrated, snappy, impatient, easily, easily triggered to cry. Are your relationships at home being affected? Are you, have you developed any kind of physical symptoms of your stress and overwhelm? Have you developed things like not sleeping well, migraines, chest pain, GI problems, low energy, I mean, I could take all of those, all of them off that were related to my stress and my burnout and my depression and everything, just the physical manifestations that you cannot deny. You cannot uh, turn a blind eye to them when your body starts speaking up. Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel like when you wake up in the morning that you're excited for life? You're excited for your day. You can't wait to see what's going to evolve today. Or are you stuck in this dread, this low motivation, low energy, low inspiration, where you just would rather curl up in your blanket all day long, every single day? Every now and then, that's okay. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I never have days where I just want to stay in bed and I just want to, you know, I just want to turn everything off. Absolutely. The, the world is heavy just for regular people. Never mind those of you in working in healthcare. I mean, those of us in nursing, it is heavy, heavy shit we are dealing with. So yeah, there's going to be some days where you just want to turn it off and that's okay. But if it's every single day that you are dreading and actually you're slipping even further and further into that deep, dip, dark pit of despair and depression, be honest about it if that's where you're at. Do you feel passionate about your career, about your life? about your family, that's a tough one. You know, it was easier for me to admit that my work was not fulfilling me than it was for me to look around and say that the rest of my life wasn't fulfilling me. Because that's what I thought I always wanted, was just, you know, all those ticky boxes that they tell you you're supposed to have in your life. 
your family, your house, you, you know, you go to school, you get a good job, you get a good career, you have a family, you have a house, you, just all the ticky boxes. But yet you, I mean, for me anyways, I had all the ticky boxes and then would look around and see that how I felt about it. It just, it felt like it wasn't enough. And what I realized is that there is one ticky box that they don't tell you about. And it's you. They don't tell us that that's actually the most important ticky box to make sure that you have ticked. We've got a good job, we've got a family, we've got all the things that they say is about having a, you know, living a happy life. But where's the, where's the one where we get to attend to ourselves? Where's the one where we are on the priority list? So anyways, there's a lot of questions there. I encourage you to even watch this again and journal some of those questions. Be honest with yourself. You don't have to share it anywhere. It doesn't have to go to anybody else but, your, but yourself unless you're ready. If you're ready to talk with somebody about this, to share some of your truth, to bring it into the light. You don't have to do it on a public platform. You can message a friend, a, a really close trusted friend. You could talk with a really trusted colleague, your mom, me, I'm here. I am absolutely a safe place for you to unload anything that is heavy and weighing on you. And there are lots of resources out there for you, but find one where you feel safe to share some of this truth because I tell you, it is a life changing moment when you own the reality of what you're experiencing. So anyways, if there's any questions or anything at all, please feel free to put it in the, in the chat. This was a heavier um, conversation, but I really think, actually, I don't think I know that this is such a critical piece. If we don't own our truth, we will never be able to create the change that we want to see in our lives. The only path to freedom is your honesty with yourself. Have a good day. And oh, Tomorrow, I think I put it in the in the group. There is I'm going to be live again, but answering some of the most frequently asked questions about the Nurse RX program. But also, if you have specific questions about it or specific questions for me about anything about anything about me, um, anything about what I do or how I'm supporting nurses about the podcast, anything at all, please join that live. Um, I. I should have looked to see what time it's at, but I think it's 10 a.m. tomorrow. Um, right here in this group, you'll see me go live and um, you can bring all your questions right there to that space. So have yourselves a wonderful day. We'll see you soon.